Hey there guys, uh, it's Rich here from Gloucestershire College. Um, today we're going to be looking at triangle of forces. So this is a way by which you can determine um, certain forces acting upon a structure using uh, angles, triangles and a scale of converting um, your force to a length and then back again. Um, so if you take this scenario here, if you look up on the board, I'm not sure how clear it is right now, um, but we've got, say, a concrete beam or slab, and from that, we've got two steel ties or two steel cables supporting some sort of hoist device, like a, a chain with a hook on the end of it. Um, and in this situation, we're going to be saying that uh, there's a downward force attached to this hoist or hook of 85 kilonewtons. And what we want to do is we want to be able to work out, using the triangle of forces method, we want to work out the reaction forces acting upon the steel ties that are actually holding uh, the chain in place. And they're, they're attached here and here to the concrete beam or the concrete slab or, or whatever. So um, in, in, this, in this method, what, what you do is you convert your force um, to a length and you, you select an appropriate scale. So in this, in this example, we're going to be um, using the scale of one kilonewton is equal to one millimeter. And by drawing three lines that are parallel to our forces, so this parallel to this downward force and parallel to these two reaction forces, we can actually um, work out the, those reaction forces. So the very first thing I'm going to do is because I've already got this, this figure here, 85 kilonewtons, I'm going to draw a line parallel to that force. It's a vertical force acting down. So I'm going to draw a vertical line at 85 millimetres because one kilonewton in my scale that I've selected is going to be equal to one millimetre. So let me just go ahead and draw um, a vertical line at 85 mil. Okay, so you can see there, I've got a line parallel to that downward force at 85 mil. And now what I want to do is I want to draw a line parallel to this steel tie coming out the top of my 85 mil line. And I want to draw a line parallel to this steel tie coming out the bottom of my 85 mil line. So the way I go about doing that, let me just uh, step over to this side. The way I go about doing that is I want to imagine taking my line here and drawing it where the end of my steel tie meets the concrete beam. And because I'm trying to get this line, this steel tie, parallel to come out the top of my my vertical 85 mil line over there, sorry, 85 mil. I want to measure that angle there, okay? Now, because this makes a right angle, my, my, my line coming out here and my concrete beam, um, hopefully we know that that's 90 degrees, okay? So if I've already got this one, this angle here, it's telling me it's at 60 degrees, I know that that's going to be 30 degrees there. So what I want to do now is I want to put my protractor, I want to put the centre of it on the top of that 85mm line and I want to make a little mark at 30 degrees because that's the angle I want. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line, a straight line, from the top of my 85 mil line going through that little mark that I just made. The length of it at the moment doesn't matter. I can just draw a continuous line like that. Okay? And then likewise, now I want to draw a line that's parallel to this steel cable coming out the bottom of my 85 mil line. Okay? So I want to imagine my line, my vertical line, coming up like this. 
And because I want that line parallel coming out the bottom, it's this angle that I want to find. Okay? So if I was to, I, I could measure that angle using my protractor, but I could also just imagine making a triangle like that. I know that the, the, with my beam, my concrete beam meets this line, it's going to be 90 degrees. And because all the angles of the triangle need to make 180, 90 plus 30 is 120, that leaves me with 60. So I know that that angle is 60 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and draw, a, uh, put my protractor, the centre of it on the bottom of my 85mm line and make a little note at 60 degrees. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw a line from the bottom of my vertical line out through that 60 degrees. And where my lines meet, they make a triangle, so I can rub out those excess lines. Yeah? And now it's just a case of measuring the two new lines, okay? Measuring them and using my scale to convert them back from a length to a force. So remember that vertical line was 85 mil. I'm going to measure the bottom one now. Five mil. Seventy-five mil. Now I'm not sure how like precise this is uh, on the board because I'm using quite a thick pen and I'm rushing it a bit. So we're going to look in on um, my computer now on the CAD and we're going to measure it much more specifically. Okay, and be much more precise. But it's just a case of now using my scale to convert these back. From a length to a force. So if 85 millimetres equals 85 newtons, kilonewtons, then 45 millimetres equals 45 kilonewtons, and 75 millimetres equals 75 kilonewtons. Okay? Now, the 45 kilonewton figure that we've got there is in relation to the steel tie that it's parallel to. So it's reaction force over here. It's this reaction force here. We can rub out that question mark and we can say that that is going to have a reaction force of 45 kilonewtons and likewise we can rub out that question mark and say that this steel tie is going to have um, a reaction force of 75 kilonewtons acting upon it okay and so that is using the, the method of triangular forces um, to calculate those reaction forces acting upon those steel ties let's take a little look at the CAD now uh, on my laptop where we can sort of move things around and we can measure things and, and hopefully it'll be even clearer okay cool Okay, so here we have our scenario set up in CAD. Okay, so it's the same uh, question and setup that we just had in uh, the presentation on the whiteboard there. And we're looking to work out these two unknown forces here. Okay, so these two unknown reaction forces. And what we're going to do is we're going to select our scale. We're going to use one kilonewton equals one millimeter, just like we did on the whiteboard. So what I'm going to have to do here is just simply draw a line parallel to that downward force. So that downward force is vertical. So I'm going to draw a vertical line 85 mil. And you can see in my command bar at the bottom there that I've typed in 85. Um, and AutoCAD will set that vertical line to 85 mil. So there is a vertical line parallel to that downward force at 85 mil in length. And so if I just place that line over the top of uh, of the hoist sort of chain and hook there so you can see that it's representing that downward force uh, parallel to that force and so we've moved that 85 mil line over the top there just just to give you a good visual representation and so what we want to do now is we want to draw um, two lines one coming out the top of our 85 mil uh, line and one coming out the bottom and these lines are going to be uh, parallel to the two steel ties because we want them to represent the reaction forces so sort of reaction force A we want to draw coming out the top of the 85 mil line and reaction force B we want to draw coming out the bottom of the 85 mil line and we want them parallel to those reaction forces so if I just do that now hopefully it gives a good visual representation of what we're trying to achieve and now if we just join those two lines up like we did on the board so the point where they cross over 
that they'll make a triangle. And now it's just a case of remembering our scale that we used. So it, it's going to be as simple as measuring these sides now. And now the measurements we get, we just use our scale to convert the length back to kilonewtons, and that will give us those reaction forces. So let's go ahead and measure one of our new lines. Um, and as you can see, it's showing a length of 73.61. And let's go ahead and measure the remaining line. Um, and you can see that that is showing a length of 42.5 mil. So now it's just a case of using our scale to convert the length back to the force in kilonewtons. So that that uh, line there at 73.61 or whatever it was in kilonewtons, that's parallel to the shorter cable. So the shorter cable is going to have a force of about 73 kilonewtons acting upon it, a reaction force. And likewise, um, the other line that is parallel to the longer steel tie, steel cable, has got that uh, length of 42.5 mil or whatever it was because our scale is one kilonewton to one millimeter it's gonna that that, that tie is going to have a reaction force of 42.5 kilonewtons acting upon it and and that's uh that's the theory there of, of how you can use the triangle of forces